Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make healthy vegan macaroni and cheese. Yes, it is actually good for you and also delicious and so creamy and it's quite simple to make. This macaroni and cheese is mostly made from vegetables and you will need just a few basic ingredients. So let's go ahead and get started. To do this, you will need half of a cup of raw cashews and you wanna soak these in water 20 to 30 minutes before you begin preparation macaroni noodles or your favorite pasta. I'm using pasta that's made from 100% organic red lentil beans, but you can use whatever pasta you prefer. Coconut milk, one small sweet potato or yam, one lemon, a small onion, one carrot, nutritional yeast, which you can find at your local health food store, paprika, sea salt, garlic powder, and cayenne pepper. I'm starting by peeling my vegetables and then I'm going to lightly chop them. You don't want to chop them super finely, just give them a really quick chop. Next I'm boiling a few cups of water and when that's ready I'm going to add my vegetables. And then I'm going to boil these on medium to low for about 10 minutes. While my vegetables are cooking, I'm going to go ahead and cook my pasta. So I've brought some more water to a boil in this larger pot. So I'm going to add my noodles, and since my pasta is made from red lentil beans, I'm going to add just a touch of olive oil to prevent the noodles from sticking together. So I'm going to cook these for about 8 minutes, and this will vary depending on what kind of noodles you use. And I'm just going to stir them periodically. Once your noodles are tender, or al dente as they say, you can remove them from the heat and strain them in a colander, and then you can put them back in the pot, and I'm just sliding them over to a burner that's not so hot. So you can put a lid on those guys temporarily, and then check on your vegetables, which should be about finished. So once those are tender and soft, you can turn the heat off, and then you're gonna strain those with a slotted spoon directly into your blender. Next, I'm going to add 3 quarters of a cup of the water that my vegetables cooked in directly to my blender, and then I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of my ingredients. So I'm straining my cashews that have been soaking, and then I'm going to add just the cashews, as well as 1 quarter cup of coconut milk, 2 to 3 tablespoons of nutritional yeast, 1 to 2 teaspoons of salt, 1 tablespoon lemon juice, a dash of cayenne pepper, 1 fourth teaspoon garlic powder, and a dash of paprika. Next, blend your ingredients on high until smooth. This will probably take about 45 seconds to one minute. You'll notice that your ingredients are gonna expand as you continue to blend, and this is totally normal, and it's gonna give your macaroni a really light and creamy texture. Once your mixture is smooth, you want to combine your noodles and your sauce. You might have some extra sauce, just add as much as you need so that all of your noodles are covered and if you like it extra cheesy then feel free to add all of it. And then just continue to stir until your sauce is well incorporated. You can turn your heat on low if you feel like you need to heat your macaroni up a little bit more before serving it. And that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions at all about this recipe, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you have any questions about measurements or the ingredients that I used, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. I really hope you guys get a chance to check this out for yourselves and try it at home. I posted a picture of this macaroni and cheese on Instagram and so many of you guys responded asking me how to make it. So I really hope that you guys get a chance to try it out because it's really good and really healthy. Even my boyfriend, who is very skeptical of vegan food, has eaten this on multiple occasions and really enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you very soon in my next video, and I will talk to you then.